Okay, here we go. Get out of there, Tana. Trade. You know what? You can have this Iron Lance. Actually, no, you can't. Sorry, you can't have that. <laughs> uh, supply. I want to take the Slim Lance and maybe a Killer Lance whenever you can use it. Tana? What are you doing here? I came here in hopes of helping you in some way. But while I was looking for you, I got captured by Garado troops. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to see you're unarmed. Tana, you should head back to Castle Freely immediately. King Hayden must be worried about you. No, the frame I came all this way so I could help you. And yet, here I am helping you. Ah, well, yes, that may be true, but... I've been so worried about you, Ephraim. I see. Oh, please don't look at me with those teary eyes. If you're really determined to help, then you're welcome to come with us. But you must promise not to try anything reckless. Ephraim, thank you. I knew that you would understand how I feel. Yeah, they understand each other. Okay, so I actually have Tana who can help out on this side now, which is nice. Uh, let's do this. Oh, nice crit. Honestly, was not expecting that right there. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, who needs healing? Franz again. So here's the thing. I don't think that guy with the Axe Reaver will move. But I don't want to do anything stupid just in case he does. Poor hand axe, it's gone. Let's go ahead and do this, Franz. Probably gonna get hit again. Oh, nope! Okay. I'll take it. Does anyone have a chest key by chance? I don't think anyone does. Um, well, first I'll grab this one since this one's in the view. Okay, 2,500 gold. That's a nice bit of gold. So let's get... Geb has crappy resistance, so we're probably going to want to use our mages to do damage against him. Also, I should stop moving all my units, especially if I'm not even going to be using half of them for the rest of this chapter. More than half of them, actually. Eh, not bad. Could be a lot better, though. frame down here too. Joshua, you should be fine. Or well, Tana should be fine by herself anyway. It is freaking Tana after all. We saw it what she was capable of. Oh, it's kind of funny. Uh, I was talking to my friends and they were like looking at my stats obviously a lot better than I was. Apparently my Vanessa was actually doing pretty well. Like in my other files, so... For all the bad talking I did to her, she actually did quite well. But, like, a, a lot of people say this, and it is it is a pretty valid statement. You can't really say there's a lot of units in Sacred Stones that are bad. 
because they all have great stats. You can usually make all units into great units because of just the nature of the post game. But in terms of like the actual normal game, that's kind of another situation entirely, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of you with an iron. So you are in the way. You're going to go over here. Get rid of this jerk. He actually has one critical hit. That's kind of strange. That's really odd, actually. But we do have an Axe Reaver now. That's like the same Axe Reaver I believe you can get in that chapter, the first chapter of Erica's route. So it's kind of nice how they kind of kept that consistent. going to use you two. The others are just going to be used just in case there's enemies. Because I'm pretty sure there's still reinforcements. Oh! Enemy crit. Didn't do much though. Only six damage. You hate to see the enemy crit though. It's a very uncommon thing. Enemy crit. Wow. I'm I'm like speechless. I can't believe we actually witnessed it here. In this Slim Kirby video. How, why am I referring to myself in the third person? <laughs> the fabled enemy crit. Okay, so we are in pretty much the... Uh, hideout of the big bad guy. Big bad Geb. Ugh, Geb. I don't even know where to begin with Geb. Uh, let's just say that Geb is actually kind of infamous, especially in the, uh, the Fire Emblem community. You know what? Let's do this. Do we have any chess keys? Yeah, we do. Okay. I'll have uh, Amelia go to the other place. But yeah, Geb is actually pretty infamous in the Fire Emblem community. Mostly because of a very, very badly written hack of Fire Emblem. Uh, I don't know if it's this game or, or uh, Fire Emblem 7. I don't know which one it is. Like they use for all the maps and stuff. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And I'm glad it's been a long time since I've seen it. But it's basically a Fire Emblem game with uh, Geb as the main character of it and it's it's really bad it's got it's poor taste in almost everything it does like seriously do yourself a favor and don't look for it I know that's kind of a weird thing to say like why bring it up if like you don't wanna look at it but I don't know it's a piece of Fire Emblem history I guess but yeah it's got really poor taste jokes it's just really really awful okay just to make sure you have no okay you don't I think in a hard mode he actually has a bow wow that actually yeah yeah in hard mode he actually has a bow but his defense is really good so that's why we can't really do any damage to him unfortunately not with Niemi anyway. I might be able to get a few hits with Ross if Ross's strength is still pretty good. Yeah, Ross should be able to do a few hits. I'm bringing Joshua just in case, but everyone else, I think I'm pretty much good to go. There's no way Tana's going to be able to do anything. Also, there's the Ocean Seal, which is good. Here, I'll actually use Tana to help Amelia get closer.
Oh, wow. And because these guys have the A support, they probably will end up killing them. Kind of hope it's Archer that gets the kill. Because Archer, I think, is a little behind loot right now. Ooh. One more level. Oh, yeah. Any more healing I can do while I'm thinking about it? Franz, you could use more healing. The frame could use healing. Healing, healing, healing all around. Might as well squeeze a few levels out of Natasha before we uh, move on. Oh, this is perfect. I'm going to be done like right as I get the last treasure chest, too. So you grab that. Restore staff! That'd actually be somewhat useful if we got that earlier because sleep. Thankfully that wasn't the case, but still. Uh, oh, we still got a few turns to get a frame all the way in here. Unfortunately, it's going to take another turn after this. But that just means we can heal more. Hooray! Come on, get a crit, Archer, get a crit. Nope. He didn't need to get a crit, though. The v that's not pus! You're dead, Geb. Get over it. Get over and please, just stay out of existence. Ugh. You got a killer axe. Yay. Uh, anyone else need healing? Artur does... I almost said Natasha does. Which technically she does. She's one health short. That's not really a big deal. Okay. We're done. Oh, yeah, I should probably take out for animations again. Because we don't need to see that. We don't. It's not important anymore. Okay, well, there we go, guys. That's Chapter 9 for Ephraim's Path. Prince of Frame, the rest of the enemy tr troops have been routed. Bring me one of the prisoners. I have a question I need answered. Well, this is kind of like at the end of the other Chapter 9, too. I'm going to ask you a question. If you have no wish to answer, remain silent. If you wish this conflict to end quickly, however, you will cooperate. What do you want? Why has Grotto invaded Reneus? I can't say. This war began on the Emperor's orders. Soldiers like me haven't the foggiest idea of what he's after. Then tell me this. Where is Dr General Duesel? In the capital. The General's been opposed to this war from the start. He's been pleading with the Emperor for days now, but the Emperor ignores him. They say some are the questioning the General's loyalty. He's putting up his standing and his life in danger by being so vocal. Is that so? Well, it appears General de Wessel remains the same true man I knew before. What about Prince Leon? Where's he been through all of this? Why didn't he do anything to temper his father's aggression? According to rumors, Emperor Vigard was convinced to start this war by none other than the Prince himself. What did you say? That's ridiculous. I know Prince Leon well. No one hates fighting more than he does. He would never do anything to trigger all this bloodshed. Prince of Frame, please calm down. I'm sorry. We leave the prisoners and the fort to the Freelian troops. Seth, I intend for us to press on toward the capital. At some point, I expect we'll find either Duesel or Leon. I'm sure we can convince them to join us in stopping Emperor Vergard. Understood, but I have my misgivings, my prince. General Duesel and Prince Leon are both men of Grotto. If we are forced into conflict with them, it won't happen. Duesel is my teacher, and I know he is a man of character. 
and I've known Leon since we were children. He, Eric, and I are old friends. I understand your concerns. If worse comes to worst and the steel is drawn, I will not hesitate. I'll fight and kill anyone who thinks to oppose me. Are you satisfied, Seth? Yes, I apologize for my rudeness. Your father is gone, and that means you are King of Reneus. There is no other. I just ask that you not throw yourself into needless danger. I hear you. The decisions I make affect more than my own life. Once this war is finished, I will rebuild Reneus with Erica. That is my mission. Mur? What is it? You must return to Freelia. I cannot take you any further in this journey. What? No, I want to stay with you. No, Mur. I'm counting on the gra to the grotto. I'm continuing on to the grotto capital. It's going to be very dangerous. I can't protect you, not as well as I'd like to anyway. Everything comes from that direction. I can feel my lost dragonstone, and that's not all. The dark energy still flows unchecked. I cannot go home while it stains the air. But, please, Ephraim. Very well. Ah, uh, I simply cannot refuse you anything. Your eyes remind me too much of Erica. You must not stray from my side, do you understand? Yes, I will not stray. Selina, your orders. I am ready, your majesty. In your service, I am prepared to do... Duezel is left for Bethruin. Take a battalion and follow him. Understood. When I arrive, I will place my troops at his disposal. No, you will not. You will strike Duezel down. What? Duezel is a traitor. He has abandoned his country and sided with Reneus. The punishment for treason is death. But, but... General De Wessel a traitor? That's just not possible. There must be a mistake. No, I did not mean that you are mistaken, Your Majesty. But, but... Selena, you have your orders. You will execute De Wessel. Your Majesty, will you allow me to ask you a question? When Your Majesty saw fit to make me a general, you shared with me some words of wisdom. I remember the moment quite clearly. You told me that the role of an Imperial General is that of the shield, not the blade. We are here to protect our citizens, you said, not to threaten our neighbors. I have never forgotten your words, Your Majesty. I have held them to my breast. They govern my every action as a General. Your Majesty, that sentiment is still alive and... Go. I humbly acknowledge your orders, Your Majesty. I am the Empire's servant. I am Your Majesty's vessel. Vassal. I'm General Selena, the floor spar of the Grotto Empire. Well then, uh... Okay, well that's interesting. That is what's gonna happen next. Uh, very quickly though, I am gonna do some grinding off camera. Because I wanna get both Amelia and Tana kind of caught up. Because they are very, very, very far behind. Amelia is like as far as behind as she could be being level one of her recruit class and tana is a little bit behind it won't take her that much to catch up but it'll still take a little while but uh i do want to essentially get them back up to around where everybody else is maybe level 10 maybe even level 11 i don't know maybe i shouldn't push that far but uh i am gonna do that so it will probably take a bit but um either way i'll be back in a few minutes when everything's done and we'll continue on to the next chapter. I'm ready to fight now. This armor used to be too heavy for me to wear. But now it's no problem. I've come a long way. That's right. I'm a real soldier now. But I'm not about to stop. I'm just getting started. So here we go. Amelia can turn into either a knight or a cavalier. However, we have a lot of cavaliers already. So let's go with the knight class, shall we? Okay guys, I'm back. I've done my grinding and both Tana and Amelia are now at level 10. I'm actually going to my unit screen right here where I actually have all the units sorted by uh, 
class, so I can actually take a look at all these units and how they stack up to one another. And uh, looking at Amelia versus Gilliam, uh, there's not a whole lot different, but the thing I found the most interesting is that Amelia actually has more strength than Gilliam right now. Uh, normally, I don't think that's supposed to happen, so I've gotten really, really good luck in the uh, strength department. But yeah, as you can see, Amelia's stats, like, she's definitely a more swift character than Gilliam. But at the end, Gilliam is probably going to be more defensive, and as a knight, that's generally what's more important. But I'm actually really liking the role I have with Amelia right now, so I might want to actually uh, continue using Amelia for a while, so... Uh, that's that. As far as uh, Vanessa and Tana is concerned, uh, Tana has more HP. As far as the other stats, I mean, Vanessa's not too bad, I guess. I think that overall, I think Tana is going to turn out a lot better, just in terms of what I see right here. Although, again, they have the same defense and resistance. It really just comes down to that, like, one point of strength and magic versus the... Uh, four points Tana has in uh, speed, and the four points that, or actually no, it's three, three points that Vanessa has in skill. So I might continue to go with Tana on that one. As for everything else, uh, not really that important. Obviously, Franz is much more ahead than the other Cavaliers, so I can't really accurately balance that out. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just stop this so we can move on. You guys probably want to see what's going to happen on the next chapter. I did go ahead and give all of the items to all of my units so they are equipped and they're, they should be well equipped enough for this next chapter so let's get a move on to Beth Rowan. A former lance instructor to Ephraim, Grotto's General de Wessel often came to Reneas as an emissary of his empire. Despite their stations, the two men share similar dispositions and a warm relationship. Why has Grotto started this war? What is the miasma of evil emanating from the country? Ephraim believes that Duezel can answer these questions. It is this belief that propels Ephraim forward into Grotto territory. Chapter 10, Turning Traitor. Oh boy. Please wait, Prince of Frame. I have a message from Frelia. There's been an uprising in Carcino. Pablo is leading a force of renegade Grotto supporters in rebellion. In Carcino. Any word of Erica? Is my sister safe? The last word we received had Princess Erica heading to assist Prince Ennis. We've not heard from her since. Blast! I sent Erica to Ralston thinking it would be the safest mission. If I could, I'd pull out of here now and go and look for her, but... Prince of Frame! I know, I know, I mustn't let my emotions dictate my actions. If Carcino has an allied itself with Grotto, then defeating Grotto is our best bet. We proceed as planned, tell them that. Understood. Be careful, Erica. Oh boy. What? Was that an earthquake? I think it's past. Prince of Frame! I'm fine, there's nothing to worry about. I was surprised, that's all. You're not shaken in the slightest, are you? Actually, it surprised me as well. I'd heard that tremors such as those were commonplace in Grotto. Apparently, they are usually weak and cause little, if any, damage. Now that you mention it, I remember a while back when I was first in Grotto. Eric and I were startled by a tremor just like that one. Leon said he had grown used to them, and he just laughed. We don't have any time to tend to injuries just now. We must press forward. We must see to the capital. I do not understand. Why this course of action? What is the Emperor thinking? General de Wessel. Is that you, Selina? Are you to be assisting me in this duty? Yes. Freelia's army will be coming soon from the north. We're just waiting for the order to engage them. Hmm, Prince of Frame leads the enemy forces, doesn't he? That is correct, Prince of Frame of Reneus. Bah! Reneus is our enemy. General, please give the order to attack. No, order all units to hold. Do not initiate the attack. I want to speak with the Frame first. So it's true. You plan to betray the Empire and 
ally yourself with the enemy. What? General DeWezel, you stand accused of treason of the highest order. Lay down your weapons and follow my commands. If you fail to do so, if you resist in any way, I will execute you on the spot. This is nonsense! Who is behind this madness? These are His Majesty's orders. The Emperor has anticipated your treachery. Prepare yourself. Impossible! His Majesty! Cormag, you and I will bring that traitor down. Go around that fort to the southeast and drive into them from the sea. We're fighting General de Wessel? But he's one of the cornerstones of the Empire. How could... He's been like a father to you and my brother. Do you truly mean to kill him? If that is what my Emperor commands, then yes, without hesitation. Cormag, if you are a true knight of Grotto, you will do the same. Oh boy. Prince of Frame, the Imperial Grotto army is before us. I know, but something's odd. They're chasing someone down. Is that a deserter? Wait, that's De Wessel. Prince of Frame, your orders? We rescue De Wessel. Ride! So yes, we are now going to fight alongside General De Wessel now. Uh, so the goal of this mission... Um, survive. We just have to survive. But I believe if uh, De Wessel dies, then you automatically lose the mission, so you don't want uh, him to die, obviously. Usually on these survive chapters, there's usually a unit you have to protect, and uh, wow, that's a loud sounding rain we have in the background. Uh, but yeah, usually on survive chapters, there's someone you have to protect, and in this case, it's DeWezel, so we need to get to him as soon as possible. He should be fine on his own, because honestly, look at his stats and look at his weapons. Plus, he's a level 8 Great Knight, so uh, I don't think he's going to go down that easily, but we should still probably try to rescue him. Also, I believe if you rescue all the units in this chapter, you get a good item, so I'm going to see if I can do that. It's going to be kind of hard, because these guys will pretty much be rushing to death anyway, but uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. There's also a lot of uh, things to keep in mind. We have these sailboat units, which uh, they actually have some pretty good items, but they are ballistas, so you want to be careful of that, because they can actually do damage to any of your flying units. And of course, down here we have Cormag. That's right, Cormag will actually be available much earlier on in a Frames chapters, as you can see. And we can recruit him. You can either recruit him with Dewezel once you got him on your side, or, you can actually use Tana to recruit him too, so I'm going to try to do that. And uh, because of that, we'll have a few flyers on our team. But we do should still be careful, though, because of these guys. Uh, they shouldn't do too much damage. Like, they do 11 damage from the look of it. And if they do 11 damage... Let's see, for example, we'll go to Tana. Uh, 11 damage. Subtract the 7. That'll do 4 damage. Times 3... Uh, that's about 12 damage they'll do, so we just need to be kind of careful around them. But they have good items, like we have a secret book right here. Uh, down here, I believe we have... Oh, no, nothing's there, but... Uh, yeah, they have items you could potentially take if you fight them and kill them. And, of course, Cormac has the Elysian Whip, which we definitely want to get at some point. So we can use on one of our flyers, and I think that's it, so... Let's start preparing for this. We can only bring 11 units. I think that's like one less than what we... No, 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 that's the same amount we could bring as the last time, so... That seems about right. I'll go ahead and bring my new units here. We're going to bring Tana and Amelia. And then I'll just try to bring uh, pretty much everyone else. Everyone else who I do like bringing normally in these chapters. Uh, Joshua... We should be able to get everybody, pretty much. Yeah, that should be pretty good. I don't think we'll have any major issues here, to be quite honest with you guys. I'm gonna put Ross and I guess I'll also put Amelia in front now too. But yeah, we have a this chapter isn't really too bad, but there are definitely things you want to look out for, things you want to be careful of, you know, that kind of thing. I think this should be pretty good. Let me move you two and let's do this.